I thought today I'm going to show you how to make um, some different wrinkles and folds for your clothing items, digital clothing items. So to start, we're going to go to File, New, go with a 512 by 512, 72 pixels per inch, transparent background, click OK. And I'm going to fill the background with a different color just so that we can see what we're doing. So I chose a lamp, but it doesn't really matter what you choose as long as it's not black, gray, or white. Click your paint bucket icon and flood fill the canvas. Go down to this little icon and make a new layer. Then I need to go back up to your color pickers and to your background and foreground color story, and I need you to pick a lightish gray. I'm going to call it a medium gray. This one is 757575. Then I need to pick your paintbrush and pick 21 pixels. Um, make your brush size 21 pixels. And I have the hardness at 70%. And we're just going to experiment. It doesn't really matter what kind of wrinkles that we're going to make, but um, in the different items of clothing you're going to. This is going to be fairly simple for you to, to adjust to whatever clothing you're making. Um, this one would be a really um, funky shape for a breast. This one would be maybe something in your pants or your shirt. You know, this one will be the same thing, something in your pants or your shirt. Um, now that we have those jobs, so now I want you to right click on this layer, click the blend the option, then go down to bevel and emboss and check that. Click right on the words bevel and emboss. And here we're going to go to emboss. The technique will be smooth, direction up, size 10 pixels, actually we're going to go with 14 pixels and I want the angle to be zero. And we're gonna experiment a bit here. I think we're gonna go with the first one. Um, and then click OK. Then I want you to right click on this, click convert to smart object, and right click again and last draw the layer. And now I want you to go down to the icon that's just above this one. It could be something different depending on which tools you use. Usually it will be the droplet. But we're going to go down and we're going to pick the smudge tool. I'm going to set at 25 pixels, 0% hardness, and 50% strength, normal mode. And we're just going to bring the edges out a little bit to make it more like wrinkles. You can soften yours up whichever way you want. So this you know you wanna fix a little bit. Just do whatever looks good to you. Then go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And we're gonna go with what I have here because I tried to make this video like five times already. Um make sure that the radius is four pixels and click OK. And then we go to the layer overlay settings up here. It was normal. And then we go down to change it to soft light. And as you can see, it looks very good. It looks just like wrinkles in the clothing. If there was a fabric background on this, you would think that it looks even better. I'm just going to see if I can overlay this with fabric background so that you can get the proper effect. You don't have to do this one. I'm just doing it just to show you how good it can look. I don't seem to have any fabric in in my pattern so I'm just gonna well, we're just going to have to go with this and pretend that it's, that it's a fabric, but 
anyway, as you can see, this is a really simple way to make your fold. And if I were you, I would do each fold, um, depending on which kind of um, clothing item that you're doing. I would do each fold separately, unless it's okay like, for your breast. You can do, you can just flip this one. You can do both of them at once to make them look a little bit different, but you can also just flip it so that you got the two of them the same. Um, you know, and you can you can change this um, wrinkled orientation to place it on different areas. There's so many different things that you can do. Hope that I've helped you. And if you have any questions whatsoever, please leave a comment and please like and like and subscribe. This is the real Mrs. MVP. Thanks for watching. Bye.